Hello everyone, it's Monday the 8th of June. I hope and pray that this message today finds you well. We're going to take a moment to pause, to listen from God as he speaks to us through his word, and then to pray together. So let's pause and be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter our scattered senses in the Lord once more, and as we pray, to know that he is God. We read these words in Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked, they are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Let's pray together. Lord God, at the start of a new day and a new week, by your Spirit, breathe new life into each of our souls. Renew, refresh and rejuvenate our hearts and minds as we look to you, listen to you, learn from you and live for you today. There are so many voices competing for our time, our attention and our devotion and we confess that at times we have so easily become distracted by these voices to the point that your voice and your word have been drowned out. At times we've been seduced by the world, naively going with the flow of the crowd or becoming a hardened cynic and before we've known it we've ended up down a dead end road, lost, confused, anxious, not sure where to turn or what to do. Lord, recenter our scattered senses once more on you and your word today. Give us the discipline and the courage to delve deep into your law, all of scripture. Give us the focus and help we need to meditate on it, to live, sleep, eat and breathe it each and every day. To read through a passage from the Bible perhaps a couple of times and allow your word to settle deep within our hearts. To allow our hearts to be drawn to you in praise and thanks for who you are to think out its implications for every part of our lives as we chew on it day by day, recognising that your word is like a mirror that helps us to see what's going on deep within us and areas of our lives that we need to turn away from and give to you. To reflect on what you're teaching us about life, about how you want us to live, about the direction you want us to go in as we trust and follow you. Help us to delight in your word, for the scriptures are unlike any other book we could ever read. They are your words written by people down through the centuries who have been inspired and directed by your spirit. Every word is from you. Every word brings life. Every word draws us back to you and shows us how we should live in a world that has lost its way. Every word points us to Jesus, your son, the word made flesh and who dwelt among us. Lord, as we meditate on your word day by day to the point of delight, Draw us deeper into a living relationship with you and to life itself, where there are aspects of our lives that are not in keeping with how you would want us to live or where we're going down a dead end road. Draw us back to yourself, anchoring us in your word. Light up the path you would want us to take and breathe strength and courage into our hearts to trust and follow you with our whole lives. Give us stability and contentment regardless of the circumstances, Lord. And day by day, as we meditate on and delight in your word, help us to grow like trees planted by streams of life-giving water, resilient, fruitful, unshakable, able to weather life storms. So, Lord, today, in a world filled with many voices, enable us to choose to pick up the Bible, to find a quiet place and space and time to read some verses from it or to read it with a friend or family member and as we meditate on it throughout today may we delight in it as we hear from you afresh and find comfort peace hope wisdom and much needed direction for our souls may we be blessed lord today knowing that we belong to you and that you promise to lead and guide And watch over us today by your word. Come Lord, pour out your spirit we pray. Amen.
If you would like someone to pray with you today, if you'd like someone to read God's word with you today, or if you need help in any way or want to chat about what it means to find hope and strength in Jesus, please get in touch with us. Get in touch with myself. Get in touch with someone else in the church family. Get in touch with the person that has forwarded this message to you. And as we look to the Lord, as we meditate and delight in his word, we know that he promises to lead and guide us today and every day as we grow in him. Every blessing.